Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to create three different leather textures inside of Photoshop using only filters. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the classic pebble grain texture and then I'll show you how to roughen that up and make it look more like a snake skin style. And the third one is a suede or soft grain texture with a, with a nice soft finish. You can also download this pack of leather textures on my website at prettywebs.com in the shop absolutely free. So stick around at the end of the video. I'll show you exactly how to grab this freebie. We're going to start off with a new document here uh, with a 3000 pixel width, 3000 pixel height resolution. You can take down to 72 if you're only going to be using this for web. Otherwise, just keep it at 300 pixels. Uh, our background is fine at transparent or you can keep a white background click create we're going to start this off by creating the actual pattern that we're going to put on our on our leather so we're going to fill this with white uh, white is my background color here and i just pressed command and delete or control and backspace on your pc Okay, make sure that this is actually black and white so you can reset these colors make sure the top color is black we're going to come into filter, filter gallery, and we're going to choose stained glass. Your settings here are going to be a cell size of 12, border thickness of 5, and light intensity of 2. Click OK. Now once you have this texture, we're going to go ahead and save that. So we'll go file, save as, and we're going to save it to the desktop. We're going to name it Pebble. Save that there. Now we're going to open another new document. And it's going to be the same thing, 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Uh, you can change your resolution to 72. Uh, click Create. And this is our new document that we're going to be working in. The first thing we're going to do is choose the colors for our leather. And we're just going to stick with the traditional brown leathers for this. You can make this any color you want, um, or you can just make it and then change the colors later on. And I'll show you how to do that as well. For this one, our foreground, our background color is going to be 9C5F3A. Click OK. And then our foreground color is going to be something just slightly lighter than that, but not very much. So we're going to go with AA. 673F. Click OK. So you can see that there's a very, very small difference uh, in these two. Uh, we want to keep this looking more like leather and less like a cloudy effect, which is what we're going to use. So we're going to come up to Filter, Render, and we're going to render clouds. So that's giving us this cloud effect. And then over that, we're going to go back up to Filter filter gallery this time we're going to use the texturizer filter that is so if you're here you're going to come down to texture to the texturizer and then in this section right here where you're choosing the type of of texture we're going to actually add the texture that we just created. So you're going to come to this little hamburger menu, load texture, and we saved our texture to the desktop. So we're going to grab that. We named it Pebble. Load that in there. And that's going to give us this texture right here. Okay, we're going to set our scale for this to 105. And our relief is going to be set to 4. Click OK. Now this is what we've got right now. It's kind of hard to see. Um, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so this is our very first texture. This is the, the pebble texture. Now we're going to make something that looks a little bit more like snake skin. So we're going to go back up to filter and use, uh, go to filter gallery. And then back into the texturizer, we're going to use that same pebble texture, but this time we're going to bring the scale down to 100%. And our relief is going to come down to 2. Also for this, our uh, light is at top right. 
click OK. And now you have something that's a little more grainy. And of course, you can change the colors of the background as well. So if you're looking for something more like snakeskin, maybe a black and white, gray, uh, or adding other colors here in the background other than this, this brown uh, would look beautiful with this texture as well. Okay, so that is our second texture. Let's get on with our third texture, which will be the suede. For this one, we're going to need to reset our colors, our foreground and background color. We're going to make those black and white. You can press X on your keyboard to make sure that the black is in the background. Okay, we're going to create a new layer here. I'm going to turn this one off so you don't uh, have to see that. And then I'm just going to press com uh, Command and Delete or Control and Backspace. To fill this with black, we're going to come up to the filters at the top and then we're going to add some noise here. So we'll go to noise, add noise. We'll leave the noise at 100%. We're using Gaussian distribution and make sure monochromatic is checked. Press OK. Go to filters, back to texture, texturizer. This time we're going to use sandstone and we're going to scale it to 130 percent and we're going to use a relief of 30 relief so that just made it look a little more grainy and gave it a little bit more depth there so uh, our light is top right click OK OK now that we have that set we're going to go ahead and, and add our colors back in so we're going to go back with these brownish colors I'll choose um, something like that and then something that is just slightly lighter than that once you have your color set create a new layer go to filter render and we're going to render clouds here and then we're going to reduce the opacity to about 80 percent or so now when we reduce the opacity um, you'll see that we're actually taking away from some of the color so what we're going to do is add another layer to just to add that color back in so once we have that there we're going to add a new layer this time we're going to use these same colors and we're going to go back to filter render clouds and we're going to change the layer mode to soft light just to get some color in there and we're going to add this one to the top so we've got the we've got our soft light layer here this is our leather texture and then this one right here is our green our suede green so now what you've got is a suede look this is going to be really difficult to see i hope you can see it so I want to show you how to change the color of this layer. So if you come down to the adjustment layers and you choose hue and saturation, this will allow you to change the color to pretty much anything uh, just using the sliders. The ones that are the most difficult to get are usually black and white. So for this one, we're going to take it up and you have to be really careful because you could lose the design altogether. I want to show you how to get a black color overlay. Uh, I know this can be a little bit difficult when you're using the hue and saturation and a lot of the blend modes don't work really well with this. So it's important to have the same colors that we, the exact same colors that we used to create this pattern. So we're going to go back to these colors. Our foreground color is going to be AA673F. Click OK. And our background color is going to be 9C5F3A. We've got the exact colors that we used to create this texture here. And we're going to go back to Filter, Render, Clouds. And we're going to change the blend mode to difference. Now it's very important that you use the exact same colors that you used to make the actual texture in order to get this. And as a reminder, you can pick up all of these leather textures in some different colors in a leather pack that I have available for free on prettywebs.com. If you head over to the shop, it's going to be in the free section of my shop. And I'm also going to display the link to that texture pack here on the screen somewhere. So you can just follow that. 
And if you'd like me to put it in the comments, just let me know and I'll also add a link there in the comments as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and of course, head over to prettywebs.com to grab that free resource and tons of other free and premium resources that you can use in your next design. Until next time, thanks for watching.